Hey guys, Asteroid here, and welcome to another Redstone tutorial video. So today we are going to be looking at three different types of very popular and very useful uh, redstone circuits. Now these circuits can be used in many different ways and are very helpful uh, to many redstone contraptions. So I hope you guys enjoy, um, and we are going to our first uh, redstone circuit, which is the T-flip-flop. Alright guys, so this is the T-flip-flop. Now the idea behind the T-flip-flop is that it takes a short signal, uh, like a button, and transfers it into a long or um, toggleable uh, signal like a lever. So this is how it works pretty much. Um, a short signal goes in and a long signal goes out. Um, and of course uh, there are many different uses for this. Um, it's always very helpful to be able to take a button input and then make it into something that uh, can keep uh, something powered for a long time. Like say you don't want to use a lever for turning on your lights in your house or whatever, you could use a button, just hook it up to the circuit and then you'll be good to go. So yeah, um, I don't think this requires a tutorial, uh, it's very simple, so I'm just going to go into F1 and you guys can take your screenshots. Um, oh, so yeah, um, forgot to mention that this piston is a regular piston, um, make sure not to use sticky, or I think sticky pistons might work, but I'm not too sure on that. Um, but yeah, those are regular pistons, and then just remember there are two torches on each side. So yeah, uh, I'll go into F1. And you guys can take your screenshots. Okay, guys, now on to the mono stable circuit. So, pretty much what this does is it takes a permanent signal uh, or a long signal like a lever and turns it in, oh, and turns it into a um, a very short, um, very short, like half a millisecond or a millisecond uh, signal. It's a very short signal. So, it's it's like a tenth of a button it's very short and you might be wondering well what what could this be used for why would I need such a short signal um this is very useful for like things like dispensers and water which I'll uh, get into later but I'll show you how it works so you hit this lever and as you can see we got a very short signal um you can barely see it you can see that repeater going off over there it's very short um, the reason why this happens is because there's a slight delay on the piston, which powers this block, um, so it gets only a tight signal, uh, through before the piston extends, if that made any sense. Um, so you can make this by either doing a sticky piston, oh, totally just broke that. <laughs> you can either make this by using a sticky piston and a regular block, or you can use a, uh, regular piston if you're low on supplies, and a, uh, sand or gravel block. Uh, a block that's affected by gravity. So, um, so yeah, I'll show you how the dispenser and water thing works. Uh, I made a little pool here. So pretty much, if you, la, if you, um, come on, god darn it, <laughs> if you hook up a dispenser uh, and you fill it with water, that short little uh, burst of power uh, is just enough to dispense the water and then get rid of it at the same time. Um, the only flaw with this is that you do have to hit the lever twice, uh, to make it work like that. So, yeah, it's a pretty useful tool. There's a ton of other uses for it, um, but I'm just scratching the surface of the possibilities. Um, so again, I don't think you need a tutorial. I'll just, um, give a little screenshot, uh, go F1 here for you guys to take a screenshot. It's very simple. That piston can either be a sticky, uh, a sticky piston with a regular block, or a normal piston with a gravity affected block. So yeah, on to the next circuit. All right, guys, this is the third and final circuit of this tutorial, and it's called the AND gate. So pretty much what it is is it requires two, um, two different power outlets to, uh, oh, I'm just breaking stuff today like no tomorrow. <sighs> So yeah, pretty much what happens is you need both, um, you need power inserted in both sides to create a redstone, um, an off input, I guess. So like if I just flicked one, it wouldn't turn it off, but if I flick both, then it shuts it off. So this can be, um, this can be useful for like adventure maps. I once made a map where I had like a, uh, 
an archery shooting range and you had to like shoot all the targets uh to go on to the next um part of the map so it can be used like that where you hook it up to an and gate and so all the targets have to be shot before it gives off a redstone signal and teleports you to the next part so that's just one way it can be used uh again there are lots of different ways um so yeah i don't really think this needs a tutorial either it's literally just uh three blocks you don't even next you don't even really need this block. It's just three blocks, three redstone. Make sure the redstone is getting power from both of these. Um, or else it kind of defeats the purpose. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.